All right, this is Hank. I'm going to give you a quick o, uh, OBS tutorial super fast. Obviously, you don't need to have two monitors. I'm just giving you an alternate perspective. So you can take a look at two different perspectives. So when you're actually viewing the tutorial, I'm going to start recording now. So that's the monitor, the smaller monitor. And there's a button that says start recording. And so now I am recording my microphone audio, which you'll be seeing on the primary video okay well to get all this stuff to work the first thing you have to do is just go to OBS and download it home open link new tab boom get it for whatever platform you have probably Windows all right then you're going to end up with a program that looks like the one that I have on the left if I open it up to show you what it looks like on the right hand side Click in these eyes here. I need to actually move my mouse over here to this other side. All right. So let's see. We'll cut off the display capture one. At the top is video dis uh, display capture. So I'm going to move that down. And so you're catching the uppermost display capture. Okay, so you watch that zoom off into infinity would be the same thing if I happen if I cut the primary display capture off would be on the other side okay so for those that only have one monitor you're gonna have something that looks like this where OBS is on your primary monitor okay and it looks like it extends into forever which is why I use um, two monitors because it makes it a little bit easier but you can always just cut the display capture out and just have your uh, video capture device um, or whatever. And, and depending on what level you've got your sources set at, it's going to give it priority. So even if I have Display Capture 2 on, let's move this, um, my live screen over to the other side and bring back OBS. Okay. So if I have Display Capture 2 and I move that above, Video Capture 1, you're actually seeing it's on my second screen here. Okay. All right. So I want to blind that again. And now you're seeing me. We actually want to look at the primary display capture now. So even if I cut that on, I'm still going to be up here because my video capture device is up ahead in priority. So instead, I'm going to use um, Display Capture at the top. And it's going to show you how OBS is on this window. So typically what we're, what you should do if you have only one monitor, this is how I do it with two. I put OBS on one side. I say I want to go live. I kind of uh, I don't minimize the screen necessarily, but I um, now let me make sure I bring up display capture too so you can see what's going on. Okay. So basically what I'm going to do, and this is my YouTube Live, real simple stuff here. Instead of using that cam icon, that webcam, I'm going to do encoder live streaming instead. Okay. And this is how I like to arrange my setup. And you can obviously do this on a single monitor. It's just a little confusing when you first start taking a look at it. So what I'll do is I'll put my you know, stream name in, blah, 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 stream options, all that stuff, stream options, enable DVD, DVR, normal latency, no added delay. Now you're going to need your uh, stream name key, which obviously I'm not going to reveal for security purposes. Okay. So then I move that all the way over to the left, or to the right rather. Instead of top chat, I go to live chat. Okay, and I set it up. So I can just barely see my analytics here and here. All right, and then I'll go back to OBS. Okay, and I'll pull that window all the way over. Okay, so let me cut off Display Capture 2. Okay, so you're only looking at one now. And let's move um, the video capture device up in priority. Okay. So, and then we'll knock out Display Capture. So you're actually getting the full view of me. 
and I have a microphone here that I'm using as my microphone auxiliary, which I can silence, and I can speak into it. You wouldn't hear anything, and which would be captured on my second film over there. Um, I can also mute the desktop audio. So if I didn't want to, if you didn't want to hear the clicks or what was playing, as something I went through the desktop audio, there would be. Of course, my parakeets are going to get involved. They love. They're addicted to fame. Okay. So let's go back to uh, Display Capture 2, and I'm going to knock out the, um, the video capture device. Okay. So it looks like it's kind of going infinitely into everywhere, which, is, which obviously could be a little bit confusing. All right, but you really don't need that because you are doing your video capture device. Okay. You're not doing your Display Capture. Again, this would all be on one monitor instead of two unless you were trying to um, demonstrate what was on your primary monitor. Okay, simple stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go back to video capture device. And again, I'm going to show you what the second display capture would look like. So just kind of ignore all this kind of in infinity mirror that you're seeing here, because what you're actually looking at is your YouTube um, live page. Okay, so basic info, go back to that. And then what you need to do is you need to go to your settings. All right, you go to stream, you put in your stream key, which I'm not gonna show. Your primary um, server is gonna be your YouTube uh, ingest server, service YouTube, YouTube gaming, stream type, stream services, output, uh, streaming. Um, this is your Kodak. The rest of this is kind of for, for um, really high resolution gaming type of stuff. You don't really need to get into this that much. Okay, just standard settings will be fine for you, or fine for most people, really. This is where you set your um, audio devices or your um, webcam, whatever that might be. So you basically have your labels for your uh, microphone or auxiliary device Let's see, let me cancel this and move it over to um, my primary display capture. So when I open settings, it'll be a little bit more clear because I'll move settings to my primary screen. So let's go through this one more time. All your general stuff is going to be the same. You can kind of just look through the options. They're fairly self-explanatory. Again, your streaming type, streaming services, YouTube, YouTube gaming you can show all services. Server is going to be your primary YouTube ingest server. Stream key, I'm not going to show you, but you'll get it right at the bottom of your okay. live stream. All right, real simple. It's going to stay the same all the time unless you want to change it. And YouTube does give you that option for security purposes, but I find one works well for all. Okay. Then uh, outputs, like I say, doesn't really matter unless you're doing high octane gaming type of stuff. All the settings that you see here are going to be pretty standard. Uh, this is the encoder. Uh, you can rescale your output because I'm working obviously on two different very strangely sized monitors, so um, I have to rescale all my outputs. Um, your preset can be low latency, high quality. Okay. And basically, that's that's going to make it so you're not going to have a lot of uh, interruptions in your live stream, even though you're going to go for uh, your high quality, like in my stream options for YouTube, I actually go with normal latency, and I also go with live chat. Okay. So I'm using this encoder to ensure that the information that YouTube is getting is, is going to be the highest quality. Okay. All right, audio, again, you're just kind of, these are the definitions. So my um, speakers would be my desktop audio device, so it's actually pulling from my sound card, and that's what would give me desktop audio. So for example, um, I wanted to go to YouTube, and I wanted to pull um, Bosley's video here, 
and okay. look at it, you're actually going to get Let's recorded give from both. Let's give everybody a chance. Mic. There were 56 folks. Let's give them a Let's chance to this. jump over. I apologize uh, again for... So let me show you the split the issue too. Is. So what I would do is I would silence my mic. And if I want to silence de desktop audio, it's done like that. Display capture too. And folks, uh, but, uh, right now you can hear me because I've kind of silenced debate in there. Um, the uh, you know, if you've read the book already, I, I guess. But if remember, if you're debating, anyway, it's very confusing for me to hear um, again and also try and think my way through that at the same time. So that's what that second camera is for. And why I'm moving these videos back and forth because that mirror effect can be a little bit um, confusing. But the principle is all the same. All right, so we'll just go back to what you would ordinarily use. That would be your video capture device. Okay, so there's me and all my grand unwashed glory. Okay, I'm gonna knock out desktop audio. So for the most part, I don't think you'll be tr trying to go through different images and things like that as you live stream. But the possibility is there available for you. Okay, very very simple stuff. So you just set up. Source, uh, your sort, your scenes is all the same, and then your sources. Um, so I'll bring up the settings window again. Bring that over here. So process priority is always going to want to be high. All this stuff is pretty standard. I don't think it's. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty much all default for what you want it to do. Okay. Uh, my my settings are are specifically designed for. Uh, gaming, uh, your bit rate should be about 3500 uh, rate, rate control CBR. If your bit rate's at 3500 with a keyframe error of 2, um, you're going to be totally fine for any kind of just person to person microphone stuff because when you start adding like uh, live stream high resolution gaming and on um, multiple input sources, it gets a little bit complicated and actually I should probably have gone back to my display capture but I have to exit my settings to do that so, so I probably should have gone back to my display capture close my window and done settings this way and pulled it over so you can see it that's what that second camera is set up for so you get another perspective CBR 3500 low latency high quality so your bit rate at 3502 this is also going to um, save your um, when people talk about bandwidth um, that's going to save you any trouble in your streaming as far as bandwidth goes okay. same thing with that low latency high quality preset All right. you've got other options you can play around with but again default you don't really need to do too much playing with that so I'm gonna knock out my display capture again I'll bring it over to the primary screen which I don't like to do because I have to resize this window okay to see it but uh, what I would do is I would just go knock out my display capture here and bring in my video capture if I can boom because it's about priority all right I'm taking that back over to my secondary screen now again, all this is kind of just extra, extra, extra because I'm trying to show you um, really how uh, I do it. <laughs> but it's, you know, if you can handle that mirror effect, you can easily do that on one screen. All right, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all you need to know. Can't really think of anything else. You just download it and make sure the settings are, are set up. You've got your stream key that's um, in the settings that you've put in your encoder. And then when you go to actually start a live stream, um, which, you know, what, why not? I'll, I'll put in something called uh, a test live stream or something here real quick. Put it on my primary screen so you can see it. Knock out my video capture and give you display capture. All right, so what I'll do is I'll just, um, I'll go into live stream real quick. And show you what it would look like. So let's just go uh, uh, for 
Bosley. Actually, let's do something far more simple because I don't want to be um, knocking your style and people searching for your stuff and coming up with this tutorial. So we're going to go OBS uh, quick tutorial because I don't like to bite off other people's stuff. It really irritates me. I don't like to have my work bitten off and I don't like to bite anybody else's work off. So, all right. And then I would move OBS. If you're on a single monitor, it would look like that. But of course, your screen would be resized to be appropriate. Okay. Now I'm recording right now, but uh, if I stream, I also record at the same time. I would I would hit start streaming. And I would just go start stream. Do I want to start to stream? Yes. It's going to break this recording into two pieces. Maybe. I've never tried that before. All right, so right now I'm live. You can see it's green there. Okay. All right. I'm live, so I'm going to pick that OBS window back up so you can see what I've got going on. So I've, I've basically got it set up, so I'm not looking at this. I'm looking at this, so I'm not distracted makes things far more simple to read here what's on the um, right hand side which you'll see if you're viewing it from the camera other camera perspective All right. but from this perspective um, it looks complicated but from the perspective that you would be using it would be just like this And I just move it, make sure my screens are lined up. So I got everything coming into the live chat. Okay, I'm streaming now. Obviously, nobody's watching. Nobody would be. Okay. And I and you're seeing me live. Of course, I've got my live muted over here, but that doesn't mean that the sound is not coming through because the sound is coming through on my encoder. So I've basically set up all the parameters that I needed to set up to ensure the highest quality moving through. All right, so I move quickly because it's not really rocket science. And of course it's freeware, just like everything I use, I always use open source software. I can't remember the last time I bought anything. Um, OBS is good because there's no hidden packages or anything in that. It's just high quality um, software. So. That's that. There's your live screen. There's your OBS screen. And if you're doing it right, it just looks like this. Okay, now you're gonna have a little delay in your live, obviously. Okay. So that, that's the kind of delay that I use to that, that's just a, a delay that you're going to get, even though I don't have any added delay. That's why I use this setup, the way it looks here. Because if you're doing the live stream, you're not going to be the one that needs to um, be interfacing in the chat because you have command over the microphone. All right, and that pretty much does it. Because I've got my video capture device, I've got my microphone, they might be one in the same for you and your uh, laptop or whatever you're recording on. So, if any questions, just ask. It's not rocket science. All right, catch you on the flip side. It's been Hank. Stop streaming. I'll show you here. Display capture one, not that video. So I'm gonna stop streaming and that's also gonna stop recording. Peace, stop the stream.